Hey, what's up, guys? This is Wes, and this is the pilot episode for my new show. It's kind of like BFX, but it's called Props. Um, now, on the first episode, I'm going to be showing you how to make a switchblade prop. It's really easy, barely costs any money, which is good, because for YouTube filmmaking and for cheap filmmaking, you need to have a low budget so you can spend more on, like, video equipment and stuff. So here's what, here's what you need to have. You need to have this type of candy. It's called Flick and Lick. Uh, you can buy it at like Walmart and stuff. It's called Flick and Lick. Basically, what it is, it's um, it's like a lollipop, but it's folded into like a switchblade kind of thing, just like that. It's really good, actually. They come in like sour cherry, blueberry, sour apple. It's a really good flavors. I just had one tonight. Now, what you're gonna need is assorted cardboard. Uh, just random cardboard. You're going to need a pencil, an eraser, scissors, silver and black spray paint. The black spray paint is op optional, but the silver spray paint is indeed needed. So, first step. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to cut out of your cardboard. Here, I'll draw it out on here. Is this one? Just gonna want to take a piece of cardboard, make believe this is cardboard for right now. You're gonna want to draw out a rough knife shape. Just very rough. Not doesn't need to be perfect. You can finalize it later and make changes when needed. Just a rough knife sketch. Should be about two inches long because that's how long the flickin' licks thing is. So basically just about like that. And you're going to need two of them. And what you're going to do is you're going to take it and you're going to cut it out. Just like so. Um, now this is just the stencil. You don't have to do the stencil. It's not required. It's like not a life threatening thing if you don't do it. But it's definitely recommended. Now this is a small scale of it, so, but that's basically what your knife shape is gonna look like. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that stencil and you're gonna kinda put it beside your cardboard. Um sorry, I had some math homework on there. And you're gonna use that rough sketch to kinda make a knife kind of shape and it should be looking like right about like that well that's it taped together but one of them should look like a cutout of that it's kind of straight edge straight edge with a flat bottom curved top and then a point up top and you're going to need two of them and then what you need to do is you need to tape masking tape the edges of it so when you spray paint it, it looks shiny. Next, you're going to want to eat your candy, which is the fun part. Your tongue gets blue if you have the blueberry flavored. The blueberry flavored is good. And they come with a flavored sticker on it. You're going to want to peel that off. I didn't do a very good job. But peel that off. You can, you're going to spray paint over it later, probably, which I am going to do. But you do that. And then you're going to want to get really hot water, like turn your sink on and turn it to all the way to hot and you're just going to want to run it into the little grooves and stuff in there because that'll get all the candy out that you did not or that you're not able to get with your tongue next what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to slip both of them in to the little thing like that just like that and put masking tape around it so they tape together just like so and you'll be spray painting over that so it's it's all good you won't really see it so just like that. Next, after that, is a spray painting. So you spray paint that up, this thing, and let it dry. And while you're doing that, there's a little nub on the end of it, like that, so when you shut it, it clicks shut. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take either your scissors or like a rotary tool, or I use a screwdriver, or just like a drill bit, and you're going to want to like get that down really fine because you want to be able to flip it freely without it clicking and locking and stuff. So you want to get it down really, really fine, and if you want to take your scissors 
and just kind of run it across there you can or get a sander or a rotary tool I recommend a rotary tool because this is like it's pretty dangerous this right here and get that down to where it's either even with the flat surface or but just below it just so you have enough space to work with so really get that down just get that when you're done with that kinda make it smooth and then once you saw once your blades are dry, these these haven't been spray painted yet. It's too humid and too wet and rainy to do it. Once your spray paint is dry, what, you're gonna wanna, what you are going to want to do is you're going to want to put super glue down in the bottom. Hot glue, super glue, doesn't really matter. Um, put it down into the bottom of the little, kind of looks like a popsicle stick thing. Kind of. If you're making if you make your own popsicle sticks, you know what I'm talking about. Make your own popsicles and stuff. You're gonna want to put super glue down into the little nudge area over there. You're gonna stick that in and let it dry. And then the final part is if you're spray painting the handle and stuff, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to cover this part up here with wax paper, cover the blade so that you it doesn't get any black on it, and then you spray paint the handle. If you want to, you can put a piece of masking tape over the words that say flick and lick, because that won't be very... Like, you have a close-up on the knife, and it says flick and lick. Um, and just some tips. I recommend you put the cutting edge. Like, if you had if you had a real switchblade, the cutting edge, I recommend you put that by the opaque, or you can't see, see through its side just like that. So, you can hold on to it, because this is also the... Uh, like the thicker and more durable end than this El Cheapo transparent plastic stuff. So there you go. Um, it's a real cheap way to make a switchblade. It it looks good. Also, um, I mean, quick, easy. Took what, like maybe a day. Um. Uh, yeah. So there's your switchblade. You can use it in uh, like a gangster movie, like in. If you need to, if you need a scene where you need to slice someone up with a switchblade, got it. Or, or um, what you can do is you can take two combs, you can tape them together like this, and you can make like a switchblade comb, like that, like greaser style switchblade comb, and, and really anything you want. And but it's it's a really good way to make a prop, um, quick, easy, painless. Well, unless you cut yourself with scissors. That's not really painless, but there you have it, folks. That is the pilot episode for Props with uh, Wesley Coleman. So, yeah, uh, rate, uh, subscribe, comment, do whatever you do. And um, tell me what your favorite prop to make is, what what your favorite thing, uh, thing you want to see made is, and I will make it. In the next episode of Props, I take uh, viewer viewer uh, comments, and I will catch you guys later. See ya.